Okay, this individual reached out asking a question on a video where we were talking about small fiber neuropathy and the treatments at work. Amanda dropped a couple of questions on that video and I'd like to answer them from my perspective, but I'd also like to invite you in our community to answer with your experience down in the comments. So Amanda asks, do I have any temperature dysregulation with my small fiber neuropathy? Also, did you have any side effects with the Lyrica? Do you still have pain? That's three different questions. I'm going to do my best to answer them in as short of a video as possible. And if anybody has follow-up questions, again, drop them in the comments. Also, if we haven't met, my name's Heather. I'm a chronic illness patient living with Sjogren's and lupus, and I share the resources that have helped me on my journey to help you on yours. Make sure to hit that follow button. So I do have some temperature dysregulation, but as of right now, I would call it mild. I think one of the ways that I've been able to manage this the best is just by like checking in with my body as often as possible or trying to mitigate the risks when I know that I'm going into a situation where I am going to be dysregulated. Like, for example, if we're going to the beach, uh, maybe I don't go that day or maybe I come with like ice packs and an umbrella and UV protective clothing, etc. Same thing with the cold. I live in Canada. It gets freezing up here. I have heated gloves now. I have heated socks and I don't go out in anything lower than minus 10 degrees Celsius because my body cannot handle it. Okay, next question. Did I have any side effects with the Lyrica? It's been a couple of years since I started Lyrica and I was in a really bad place at that time. I was dealing with like a lot of headaches, a lot of musculoskeletal pain and this on top of it. The only side effect that I know that I had was that if I missed a dose, like forgot to take it in the morning or forgot to take it at nighttime before bed, when I went to go to bed, I would start having like nighttime seizures. They're terrifying. I absolutely hated it. And even with like setting alarms and like trying to make sure every single day that I took the medication, I was so sick at the time that sometimes I just was not able to take it, not able to remember to take it. And then as a result, had these like nighttime seizure things. But that was like purely my own fault, not the fault of the medication. So there are withdrawal effects with that medication. Something to be aware of if you're starting it. And then the last question, do I still have pain? I'm going to say 95% of the time, no, I do not have any neuropathy pain. Day to day, it is well managed. As long as I take care of my body, do not overdo it, make sure that I am resting, sitting, lying down at appropriate intervals, then it doesn't bother me all that much. But if I get sick with a cold or the kids come home with a stomach bug and I am exposed to something where my immune system is going to be kicking up a notch to try and fight off these invaders, then my immune system kicks up through my whole entire body, not just in the gut. And then I can start seeing and feeling the numbness, tingling, and the effects of my neuropathy when my immune system is kicked up trying to fight something off. I hope that answers all the questions. Drop a comment with more.